Oh shit, I forgot I can't go on my Twitch. <laughs> Maybe it was this over here. Okay, 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 we're getting everything set up. Go to the, um, go to the KO stat tracking. That stands for knockout stage. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah, you see it? I do. Stat tracking? It's pretty nice. Oof. Look at that. Nice little layout. Do you have the music playing in the background? I do. Okay. Yeah, if I knew this is a thing, I wouldn't have uh, played some shit against you in the last set. Damn. Feeling bad at 51%. <laughs> Who, me? Uh, no, I'm on 51%, which is like pretty shit compared to everyone else. I sort of <laughs> like three last set against you. Yeah. I played. It feels good. Um, who has the highest <laughs> win rate? I think JD. Yeah, I think JD does as well. I think it was actually tied between. Oh, I thought it was going to be Witch. Yeah, JD. I think it's tied between JD and Intuitive, actually. Ooh, really? Yeah, good luck. Nah, Int's on 66.67. Oh, I see. Intuitive and JD were both tied for a very long time. But uh, I guess the last set. Messed up Intuitive's win rate. Um, Do we have the music um, going on? Yeah. We do. Okay. Everybody trickle one. in. Welcome, whoever's joining in. You call us, um, yeah, hashtag free, free stacker. Right now, we're just looking at the um, the knockout stages, stat tracking. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, brought to you by, I think it's Kaylee. And um, who else was doing that? I think it was... Uh, Jews and Wigan, I think. Yeah, Jules and Wigan, and I think maybe one person else. I'm not sure. But yeah, big uh, big round of applause to them for setting all this up and uh, doing this all in Excel. It's very impressive. Yeah, it's not quite as fun as what we get to do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, certainly not. They're the behind-the-scenes people that put in a lot of work that don't get appreciated. So Look at that, if you guys ever see them in-game, yeah. If you guys ever see them in-game, say uh, good shit. Well said, Mikey. <laughs> Ooh, which inside? Yeah, that's just group stages. I mean, obviously, not not everybody's played their knockout stages, but. Uh, did you drop it in the OSL channel? I did. Yep. Nice. Good job. With the the link, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna be right back. Just one minute. Um, I leave the stream on the bracket. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, one minute. Ryan's gonna go take a shit right now. Uh, when are we starting? We're just waiting for them to go through their intro stuff. Yeah, okay, so we are gonna start once Ryan. Hey, everybody. Um, right now, we're just setting everything up. Uh, both contestants are ready. It's between Aventus and acroscopic um awesome set about to happen ventus is seated number four and obviously the the bottom eight of the 16 seeds uh were randomized so we can't really rank acroscopic but again um acroscopic pretty good in his own right obviously making it past the group stages to get to this point i believe he's gonna start with skull dagger against Aventus. Um, Aventus voicing his uh, disgust with that sword and its pattern. Certainly does not like to play against it, but he might have some tricks up his sleeve. We will see what he plans to do for that. So that's exciting. Um, and yeah, we're just setting everything up right now. Preparing for everything. I'm back. Sorry about that. 
And perfect timing. Ryan's back. Yeah. Uh, are they ready to go? Yeah. I think everything's ready to go. Nice. We are ready to go. Ready to rip. Now everyone want, wants SD. Yeah. Ooh. That's certainly what it feels like. Okay. Um, let these guys know whenever they're ready. We're ready. Mm-hmm. Gonna global this one more time. Everyone watching, make sure to tell your crewmates. If you guys tuned in last time, you know how fucking crazy that set was against Metaphys and Gammy X. Um, this one might be just as close. Who knows? Um, I certainly hope so, and I'm sure Ryan does as well. As well as everybody else watching right now. Hundred percent, Mikey. Um, second. Yeah. Okay, tables. Oh, they're doing it on table. Okay. I guess that's fine. Yeah, that works. Yeah, local players only. It's fine. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. Whatever floats their boat. Right up here as well. Ector X is doing the predictions. I think he's busy right now. We will see. I think he's waiting for everybody just to be set up right now, though. Are we good to go? I am. All right, I am as well. I'm watching both streams now. I'll pop this out. And oh, here we uh, go. Here we go. Starting Ooh, off. look at that. Yeah, microscopic opting for the SD here. Oh man, this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun one. Aventus, like I said before, oh. if you guys didn't. Ooh, nice little reverse build by Aventus. Hitting Akko in two three. Akko just sending it right back in some sprinkle format. Metis keeping a pretty clean board. I do like this a lot. Nice little bingo. Ooh, quick as well. Probably not the ideal placement. He definitely wanted that to hit in five, six rather than the Acroscopic's two and three columns. Aventus' board super clean. He's probably really happy right now with this. Um, don't think that he can double that yellow at least with the current blocks that he has. Vent is searching for a yellow or building up to that blue. He does get it. Nice. Crushing Acro's green breaker that might have doubled once he broke the yellow. Both players searching for a yellow here. Who's going to get it first? I don't know who's been faster. I think Aventus wins this if he just stalls it. Yeah, and he does. Acro just deciding not to stall anymore because he was behind in... Um, his board was much higher than Aventus's, rather. A lot of yellow so, in that board. Lots of yellow, yeah. This might be we might be seeing a lot of yellow droughts here. So Acro goes to the SD. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh looking at Aventus's build here, he needs if you guys see it, the trigger is the yellow piece uh behind the two by two block, but he obviously cannot get to it anymore, so he just decides to break it early. Um, he wants to build up that yellow and put a blue on top of it if it gets high enough. But again, he gets sprinkled. Good pressure by Acroscopic. Just trying to uh, hit Aventus uh, as fast as he can with some sprinkles, mixing up his board, which is ideally exactly what you want to do with the Skull Dagger. Um, Aventus building up, though, and he does clear out his entire board. Huge hit on Acro. Can he dig out of here? He needs... Nope. No, he can't. That yellow again. Yep, there's the yellow. It's going to be a recurring theme here. think so. I definitely think so. We're two for two for yellows. And Aventus is two for two for wins. <laughs> yeah, he is. Great observation. Both players are a really similar opener here. Yeah. Acro opting to not build any blocks. Normal. Yeah, you can see that Aventus' opener is so much more effective right there. Yeah, definitely. 
Akko needing that blue. He decides not to. Maybe it's green center for Ventus's sprinkle. So he's waiting for Ventus to sprinkle him. But now, oh, he has to break the green. And now he doesn't have access to the yellow. It's a oh, nice F5, really... Ventus. Unfortunate yeah, that nice that uh, sword went in one two though. Didn't do anything. Yeah, and then Acro in a really dangerous situation here because he cubed his columns one and two. So any strike that Aventus sends is definitely going to go down five and six. If he sends two, it's going to be forced in the center. Yeah, here it goes. Yeah, if that was just a, a two by two, it definitely would have. Uh, Ooh, huge perfect double piece. Acro. Ventus looking back on this might be a little bit angry at that. He's still in a good spot here. Uh, still pretty solid spot, I would say. Maybe not so much anymore. No, he oh, just needs a green Everman. neutral. Can he get it? Ooh. Is Ventus going to live up to his nickname, the unluckiest <laughs> fighter? It it looks like it. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. unlucky. Super unlucky by Ventus. He's gonna look back at this and be really fucking mad at that. But <laughs> um, again, it's only two one. Ventus still has the lead here. It's always interesting seeing how like uh, people push their space bars down uh, for um, like before the game starts. Some people like to just hold it down. A lot of other people like to just uh, just like lightly press it down and get a feel for it. I'm definitely a spammer. What about you? Yeah, I'm I'm definitely I'm a spammer as well. Uh, I like to get the the feel for it instead of just holding it down. It feels a little bit too weird because sometimes you get stuck there as well. So this could definitely be taken out of context, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Whoa, nice hit by Acro. But look at yeah, how little that actually that. does. All those no, yeah, blocks he, just getting I think wasted. He over comboed it. Um, oh, for sure. Or over sent it rather. I don't know a good term for it, but yeah, Acker will be expecting that to have hit big on event. This is board, I think. Yeah. But what happens is uh the combos just kind of disappear, a lot of the swords, because you can only have so many swords on the screen. Not the super clean board. Yeah, oh my god. I'll say the nice. same for acroscopic. Acro living here for another turn though, and the event is just keeping on the pressure. Denying any kind of comeback potential from Akko. Is that an Ice Akko from Aventus? Ooh. Aventus I think it is. It's posting global again. Why not? Hello everybody that joined us. We got 40 viewers here. How's it going? Give us your predictions. Who do you think is going to take this set? You guys like Acroscopics? Oh, that was a nice bingo by Ventus. And Acro as well, That's but huge. I don't know if they're three by three. <laughs> yeah. Too good here with an SD. Like three so breakers and um, Aventus is clearing all of that. There's one. Yeah, once Aventus gets a yellow or even a blue, everything just connects beautifully. Kind of cascades down in not the best way. However, it should be fine. Nah, this Aventus is pretty really perfect for Aventus. Blue. Yeah, this is just fucking perfect. Uh, he needs to connect that. Deciding to keep his center clean, I think that's the right decision instead of greeting for the blue and banking on it. And there he gets it anyway. Definitely would have went for the turn. blue greed. Oh no, but nothing connects. Super unfortunate for Acro here. He's really thinking about this. What is that, 4 1, I believe? Yeah, 4 1 to Aventus. Momentum certainly with Aventus right now. Yeah, absolutely. Aventus going into this, uh, relaying to us how uh, he's getting some uh, some adrenaline before even heading into the game. And again, uh, that is what happens. I think it's hard not to these situations. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, that's why we we play. Um, you know, you want to play for that competitive nature. You know, it's it's fun. It's oh. Fun and that was fucking huge by Ventus. Even not even three sorting. Although he did have the block to do it. That's set one finished. Set one finished, yeah. Four I... one or five one to Aventus. Yeah, what do you think? You think is gonna switch over to Faust? Yeah, he is. Look at that. Yeah, Acro being a bit 
A greedy on that opener. Yeah. Maybe feeling a little bit desperate. Saying, yep. uh, I need to send something big because my other uh, openers weren't really cutting it. Looks like I'll swap the Falk. Event is going for his bad habit of building in column three. He said that he'd been trying to fix that. Yeah, he goes for it. It's fine. That's off a much better opener than Acroscopic, though. Right. Uh, we call it a uh, a bad habit to build in uh, column three, just because almost every single block strike, at least in the beginning, is nearly guaranteed to uh, to hit in columns two and three majority of the time. That just with a lot of ammunition on this board. You can get oh. the breakers for it. Yeah. Acro has literally everything that he needs. He just not he just doesn't need the yellow. And then he gets blocked off from the green. Wow, huge full board clear from Aventus. Yeah, I think that lag just screen it was that huge. Yeah. Event is repping the, the Mac users in this tournament. One of the very few. I think one of the only other ones was Sword, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even Crust, but I'm not too sure on that. Uh, your good friend Matigan was a Mac user. Good friend is certainly not the term I would use. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't any know any reason? One. Any? Uh, there's quite a few reasons that might be discussed off stream. I see. Anyway, However, I won the acroscopic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Acro won that? Yep. Wow. Incredible. I uh, it felt like Aventus's hit that last game with the three by three block just kind of disappeared into nothingness. It was a single, right? Was it? No, well, he he had a double with a ton of sprinkles along with it, maybe. So. Ah, uh, yeah. Interesting stuff. Aventus fishing for a red or a green. He gets the the red, just clearing it. Not a massive hit. Nothing crazy. He just wants to kind of reset his board here. Get to a neutral board state, as we like to call it. Turns out Galileo is a Mac user. Ooh. Fuck. Aventus just singling here. Saying, uh, hey, I noticed that your board's really high. And I'm going to send whatever I can and try to nuke your two and three columns. And it works out perfectly for him. Event is quickly tying it back up. <laughs> you trolling, <Well>. Vanaz? <laughs> There's a thoughts on Nemesis telling you to stop spamming the Twitch stream in global. <laughs> I haven't been Is reading. She? I'm not even looking. I don't know. I haven't been reading. That would be Enough funny if so. People sending the same info is still pretty spammy. I see. <laughs> no comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> Other people did it for me. <laughs> Put it that way. Anyway, back to the gameplay. Uh, Acro's board is so... Uh, man, that's just such an awful position to be in. He really needs a green here. Yeah, that's not good whatsoever. Oh. I feel like you should have. Okay, it's alright. Yeah, it definitely he should have chained that, I think. Yeah. Still not too bad, but again, even if he does clear it, Aventus is in such a good position because, again, Acro is using a Falchion, which sprinkles similarly to a foil, or like the stick, really. So, uh, basically, what that means is Aventus can cube up his, um, his blocks. And send Aventus something taking the lead. That too. Who won? Both players going for a somewhat similar build, both fishing for a blue here. Event is certainly going to get there first. He is just running it down. But Acro with a good sprinkle, but it doesn't matter, okay? It does cut off Aventus's um, build. So he doesn't get to break off that blue. I think he was going to either bingo or donkey. I'm not too sure. Vent is opting not to break the blue prematurely there. Banking on another one coming. Ooh, he needs a... Oh, he gets the red neutral. Even better. Oh, 
really smart because the blue wasn't going to connect. So he decides to hit the red first and wait another turn. Really well played by Aventus there. Looking at Acro's board now. Not bad. He just yeah, needs... Yeah, he can work for that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, any breaker, he's totally fine with. Except now... That was such a That's good not a low. No, certainly not. Acro deciding not to save that yellow breaker. <laughs> he messed that, that might one come up. Back to, uh, that's going to come back to fight him. Uh, yeah, he, he could have cleared his center there. Oh, but rewarded anyway. I see. Not bad. Just chain clearing and singling. Event is kind of stalling here. Think about what to do. Maybe he was waiting. Oh, Event is saying lag. No wonder why. I was wondering why Aventus was stalling there. There was really no other options to of how he could have uh, flipped that. He typed in game lag. So um, fortunate for Acroscopic. Really unlucky for Aventus. And he doesn't get any breakers? Or no, he does. Top of the board, only a couple spaces left, but getting blessed right now. He really needs... Oh, he gets a Witch Piece. Beautiful. He deserves it. But it doesn't it. connect. But it doesn't matter anyway. He gets the blue the next turn anyway. Needs a green. That just needs to race for some breakers. But Akko keeping on the pressure. Goodbye, Acroscopic. He really needs a blue and he doesn't get it. Wow. Unlucky for Aventus there. Yeah, that sucks. But really well played by uh, Acro. You know, he... Uh, he took advantage of the situation and kept on the pressure. So, uh, did uh, mess up the center clear that time. Maybe he didn't deserve to break out there. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, definitely not. But, you know, it is what it is. As we saw yesterday, XD. Um, screen froze <laughs> for like six seconds there. Yeah, that's what Aventus said in chat. Unfortunate for him, he's second opener by Aventus there. <laughs> yeah, peak sword fighting right here. Mm hmm. You know, the meta has shifted from the uh, the standard build your 2x2, two 3x3, two, uh, three three, and then bingo it kind of meta. And it's now send shit as fast as you fucking can and as efficient as you can. Interesting but mainly decision as fast as you can. By Acro not to double that entire chain there. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to set up a 2x6 as a result of it. So, pet off. Then just with keeping a it clean. Reasonably nice clean board as well. Breaker. Yeah, both players, good board. Acro, nice hit there. Aventus might dink dink die. I think he's lagging again because there's no other way to think about that and how to place that piece. At the top of his board. Oh, just unlucky for Aventus here. Maybe he's getting a little frustrated. I certainly would be. Two games this time. Not going in the favor of Ventus. I think he's okay. He's back. Hopefully he's not lagging anymore. Although I am seeing on his screen a little bit of lag. I don't know if it's brain lag or there's uh, the usual lag, but hopefully, uh, hopefully he gets fixed. Acro probably forgetting that he's using a Falchion decides to sprinkle his opener. Um, probably afraid of Aventus' speed. I don't blame him. Aventus really fishing for a yellow here. He's desperate for it. He's just gonna... Yeah, there it is. Probably could have doubled that, but... Um, again, high press pressure situ situation. Felt like he was gonna get hit the next turn, most likely. He just wanted to clear it, get it out of the way. Acro clean board too, though, and a fucking huge hit on Aventus. What is that? 2-4? Yeah. Wow, this is that just still lagging? quite the development. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the the momentum is definitely in Acro's favor now. Both players, same pieces. Yeah, hoping uh, Aventus isn't getting tilted or anything. Uh, he probably is, but that's a pretty solid and efficient opener. By Acro Aventus. gets a pretty similar one off. Yeah, very similar. Debatable whether or not the sprinkles at the end uh, either hurts Acro or helps him more. I would argue that it hurts Aventus more. Um, both players needing a red here. Or maybe some blue neutrals. Very nice. 
Mantis needing to connect that. He does get it. And here comes a big... Eh, not a big sprinkle. He didn't connect the green. That's unlucky. Or unfortunate, rather. Akko needing a blue and gets it. He only had two turns to get that. And he does get it. Fortunate for him. Unlucky for Aventus. Akko probably forgetting the pattern there, it looks like. Thinking that it was red falling down from Aventus' pattern in his 5 and 6 column. Aventus cubed up his left corner, though, mate. Yeah, but it doesn't Never mind. matter. It doesn't gets there. matter. Four, three. Akko, that's a big flub. I don't know if he greeted for that or if he just forgot the pattern of Aventus. Um, I'm going to go with he forgot the pattern. He was probably thinking that it was red in columns 5 and 6 from Aventus' sprinkle. So, unfortunate for him. And you might think, wow, like, how'd you do that? You're bursting this guy, like, you know, at least 12 games by now. <laughs> but um, it does happen. Acro, not the greatest opener. Acro really needs to win here. Remember, if he Acro's loses this set, yeah. he's out. Yeah, Acro just needs one more win. He's on match point. Eventus is digging his way through this, climbing his way back. I think he's going to go for the triple here. He doesn't. I wonder if there was a sprinkle next turn. There was. Okay. Again, we have their audios muted on stream. So we can't hear. But that does make sense of why Ventus didn't go for the triple there. Acro trying to climb his way out. And he gets the green. Very fortunate for him. Seems like Acro slowed blue. down quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, events is super clean board, and Acro's going to have to sprinkle a lot to get out of this. And his middle is not looking good. He's again, Aventus sprinkles green, but he gets to it. Oh my god, Acro's going to... Okay, he doesn't connect that, but it's okay, I think. Oh, huge fucking sword by Aventus <laughs> to stop that. I think and then he just ding, not ding, removing dies. that one block actually cost Acro living a few yeah. more times. I think so too. That's what we mean by uh But right now board. it's four four. If Aventus four, four wins point. he's through and Acro's out. If Acro wins, yeah. then it goes to set three. Both players building the same thing. Need the same exact breakers. Aventus prematurely breaking a one by four, hoping that it breaks something of Acro's. If anything, just makes him think and uh, stop for a while. Acro, oh, only something that sprinkles. That sucks. Unfortunate for him. Aventus sends a massive opener. Acro's board not looking too good. Aventus connects it, puts the blue neutral in column four and gets the double off. Good awareness by him. Acro, though, cleaned up his board. And now he's going to connect the blues. That's really good. Maybe he can prep and put a blue. Oh, he really wants to double it. And he does get it off really nice by Acro. And fortunate that he didn't get punished for cubing uh, the yellow on his one and two columns. Because, again, would have just uh, sent any other sword that Aventus sends right down oh, his other perfect columns. perfect breaker for Aventus. Nice. No, Aventus, nice Aventus really needs a red or else he's done here. Acro's board. Will he get just, it? Oh, really efficient by Aventus here. Utilizing. Oh, oh my god, he gets the, the red piece! Final dance, and he got it. Aventus really thinking about this one. Praying that he could have broke the green there, but he doesn't have the chance. But he gets the blue at the last second to break out. Both pairs need to really speed up here. He needs a yellow. That's all he needs. He needs a yellow desperately to keep in this. Otherwise. It resets. Oh, and it goes to set three. Oh my god. Aventus. Unfortunate for him. Great by Acroscopic, though. I did not expect that. Wow. Aventus saying that he's going to reverse. Says, fuck it. Maybe he's feeling. So, Ryan, can you explain the reversed versus uh, non reversed? You don't have to go into the patterns and stuff. Just explain uh, what's the benefit to. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you know this already, but um, the difference between reversed and unreversed faults is that the reversed alternates the sprinkle that it sends in the fourth column, which is where your pieces drop from. So um, if you send a two layer sprinkle, it'll cut off your center, basically. So with that, it makes 
the best striking sword have the best sprinkles as well. So it's not busted at all. <laughs> but anyway, set three. One one in sets. Kicking it off and uh doesn't really look like either player know what the fuck they're doing for their openers. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of. I'm not sure either. Ventus, though, definitely with the superior board. Again, Acro uh, can't change his sword because he already swapped from Skull Dagger. Ventus had his one swap and he used it for this reverse fashion, like Ryan, uh, Ryan commented on. Like Mikey. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh my God! That was massive by by Acroscopic. Holy that'll, shit, what a combo. Get him Don't know if that was planned or just breaker stacking and praying to the fucking RNG gods. But regardless, it works. And first game, it's by Acroscopic. Event is definitely feeling the pressure right now. And probably a I little bit so. pissed off about uh, how that last set concluded. But again, you know, this is uh, this is what you play for. Yeah, that's what we meant when we were saying about them. This is like really like a test of endurance and keeping your cool and stuff because even the best players can get a bit tilted a bit nervous and it just completely throws off their game yeah definitely acroscopic getting a little bit lucky there having his uh some of his blocks on the bottom break yeah i'm sad we couldn't see that combo again but technology isn't there yet <laughs> <laughs> the tech is not there yet however you guys can clip it if you own a twitch account yeah, please do. You do. So please clip it for us. We love to see it. Ventus cleaning out his board, just singling his way through. Nice little triple, but again, I think that's going to help Acro more than it's going to hurt him. But again, not many options for Ventus there. Ventus missing a triple, I think. He probably had that, but opting to clear more of his board. It's not bad. And again, a lot of people, like I said before, you just get caught up in the moment. And, you know, when your board's getting high like that, you kind of say fuck it to the combos and how you normally play. Even though if you know if, it, if it's a safe option to do so, just because there's a lot of pressure being up on top. A lot more misflips happening. Ventus. Oh, getting sprinkled. That's so unlucky. Really unfortunate for him. That was a perfect timing from Acroscopic. Aventus saving that blue. Good. Letting the sprinkle break it instead. I go high on his board. Oh, he uh, gets he the gets green it. the last turn. Holy shit. But Aventus getting to his red. Probably sensing a sigh of relief there. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Acro with a blocked off top left corner. Aventus sending anything is going to go down. Big. Anything by Aventus here is going to be sent in two, three, uh, in three, four, five, and six columns. Not, oh, not anymore. anymore. But it's going to build up. Aventus rapid fire sending strikes one by fours and one by fours. But Acro getting the red that he needs to clear out his one and two columns. But so does Aventus. He clears That's out his the middle perfect column. Strike right there by Aventus. Perfect strike. Can Acro get a red neutral and a yellow? <gasps> Oh my god, he does get the yellow and the red neutral, but he's got a lot of digging here. Holy shit, if he gets a fucking yellow. Oh, he gets oh, it the next wow. turn, but Event is hitting him just before that he can get there. Holy shit, this is fucking tight, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Event knows how lucky he got there. Wow. Well, um, holy shit, Event is going to look back on this and, and really live up to his unluckiest... Uh, sword fighter kind of alias that he has going on for him. Um, sorry. I wonder if I can post again. The global. I'm gonna opt it not for now. However, um, please, guys, go ahead um, and post if it if it's been a while and as long as Kaylee's not posting it as well. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, nobody's posted in a while. It's Anyway, guys, please. It's set fucking three. Crazy. Nemesis, I'm surprised. I've never been online for blockades. 
I heard Skyfire just ding ding dying here. Event is keeping oh, up the pressure. Yeah, I didn't even well see that. Him. Yeah. Rapid fire game right there. Event is definitely feeling good. When you beat somebody like within the first minute or so, after you have long, long, long games of like three minutes plus, it feels really good. So Event is probably getting a sense of relief here. Both players going for the same thing, except Acro going for the two by two on the green rather than Aventus's. Oh, Vent is just going. Oh, Vent is going to go for the three sword here. All he needs uh -oh. is a green neutral. Wait, no, he goes for the. <gasps> okay, okay. Still Maybe the good. Better Still option, good. I think. Probably, probably for the better option. Yeah, I, I do agree. Not as much um, content now, but. Certainly not the content. Looks like it'll win in the game, but... unless. Unless. The commentator's unless. curse. Ryan speaking way too soon. No, nope, never mind. It's over. All right, so it's three one <laughs> to Aventus. Three one. Good on him. He's feeling really good right now, I think. Uh, even after maybe flubbing that opener or doing exactly what he wanted to. We'd, we'll never know until the post-game interview, probably. Um, both relatively similar openers. Both fishing for a yellow. They both get it. Now a green neutral. They both get it at the same exact time. These are going to be the same exact openers, really. Yeah, literally same exact thing happening to both of their screens there really cool to see actually um but again you can't really build much else with those blocks ventus does look like he's lagging on his screen quite a bit maybe it's because of the streaming uh acro on the other hand really needs <gasps> the yellow and he gets it nice little double there ventus's board really That's clean a nice though and a nice by send back by ventus really clean there really really clean Akko really needing a green. Oh, unfortunate for him. It's 4 1, and Ventus has climbed his way back. Yeah, and he's probably right, feeling point. amazing right now. I think he just wants to end it right here. Let's see if he can. Barreling down. I do see a little bit of lag on Ventus' screen. Yeah, but I'm uh, thinking that's not in game. At least, I really hope it's not. <laughs> I don't believe that it is in game either. Nice this opener. Cube up. Really efficient opener by Ventus. I don't think he could have made that any bigger. Acro's one column is blocked off. Now his 5-6 is going to be blocked off. Oh, but smart that he saved that yellow breaker up to the top. That's what we mean by, that's what we mean by saving breakers so much. But he really just needs a yellow neutral. Oh, and it's it gets awesome. broken. Well, I don't think that he had any other option, but again, it doesn't matter. He gets the yellow anyway. Keep Acro in the tournament. Still going. Acro he's got, he's got a yellow. Here. That's going to be wow, a he big Wow, he greedy for that double. Yeah, that's he greedy for that double, and it pays off. Oh my god, I can't believe that. What a ballsy fucking move. Set three. Last game, potentially, for Acroscopic, and he goes for something like that. A lot of the times, that does not pay off. But uh, as you can see here, it certainly did for Acro. Acro going for the 1x4 opener. Panicking a bit, maybe? Or trying to maybe. disrupt Aventus? Well, certainly did. Aventus just totally singles his opener. Yeah, not really much that he can do there. Kind of just wants to reset the board. Doesn't want to build too high. Akro slowing down quite a bit right here. He needs to keep up the pace. Because Avantis is just going to keep hitting. As he does right now. Yeah, nice follow-up by Avantis. Yeah, this is all just going to be sprinkled back. Avantis has a 3x3 three three block that's very content. But again, as you guys can see, it only sends as a 3x2. When it's just singled like that from a three by three block. So um doing almost nothing to acroscopic there. Oh my god, he gets the witch piece. Beautiful. The green and the yellow. But again, event this comboing right back, sending the same exact thing. Yeah, and event is surely in a marginally better position here than Acro. Yeah. Acro clears the center again. But so does Aventus with the red. And the green, he's clearing up his sides. He just really needs to break that little yellow neutral that's in his column four. 
Ooh, I think... Okay. Ventus needing a blue here. He connects it. That's really good. Oh, Ventus looking for the double. I don't know if he could have or not. However, in the driver's seat right now, Akko fishing for a blue. He needs this really bad. Oh, no. I think he... Did he greed for it? Does it hit? No, it still goes. No. Oh my god, wait! Oh, I think Akko got him mixed up with Aventus' sword from last game. Ah, uh, yeah. Because last time it was his green center, but now it's yellow. It looks like Holy that would be shit. it. Yeah, Aventus takes it. Unfortunate by Akko. Who's to Aventus? It actually it looked like a misflip there. Well, I mean, it obviously was, but if Aventus was using the other sword, uh. It was green center, and he would have doubled that the next turn. So he had the right idea, but unfortunate. That was a good showing by Acroscopic there. Very good showing, yeah. Over to the bracket. Event is saying that he was terrified of the reverse sweep. Um, both players saying that they played really well. I would have to agree. Crazy yeah, nice stuff. Nice to see good sportsmanship between them. Yeah. Bit of mutual respect. Um, and, but yeah, and deserved. Aventus will Definitely be going through deserved. to the quarterfinals, joining Metaphys and Pincus, who have already qualified. Um, yeah, I do need to update this bracket. Um, yeah, so so Metaphys has moved on, so he's going to be playing against the winner of Hearse and Dragel. And then again, uh, Aventus and Acroscopic, Aventus moves on. These group stages, or knockout stages the beginning of them have been very surprising i don't think that anybody really expected any of these sets to be going this close um yeah it looks like event will be playing the winner part. between intuitive and collapsed that's gonna be a huge game no matter who gets through yeah it's gonna be crazy yeah i'm looking forward to that one um do you want to ask Aventus if he wants to come in for a, <laughs> a quick about the games yeah i'm sending it to him make sure he uh, meets the stream first oh, yeah there will be a little bit of an echo probably as long as you meet would be fine um but side note guys uh I might be playing Scupper Boy in my knockout game in an hour's time. An hour's time. <laughs> Hello, people. There he is. There he is. The winner. How are you feeling? Okay, that, was, that was actually really close. He started playing super well when he pulled out the Fouch. And I if, I think if you used the Fouch the whole entire time, he, it, the first set would have been a lot closer, truthfully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, more would, confident uh, against that SD this time. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of that and the fact that, I mean, I don't think he was warmed up properly before the games. I didn't actually see him practice a lot. And I think if you rewatch the VOD, um, you won't see him actually hit me a lot the very first set. But then as soon as he starts whipping out his fouls in the second set, he starts actually sending, like, really good combos really quick. Yeah. Just, I mean, yeah, and then, I mean, at some points, I just got completely suffocated there. And that's exactly what you have to do in some of these games, I think. Yeah, speed versus speed, really. You just have to keep ripping combos, ripping combos as fast as you can. Exactly, and like I, a few of the games there, I got like super, super greedy, which is never a good idea in some of these games because like obviously there's like a lot on the line. And uh, yeah, I mean, people can just, people will break more than they would build just because of what's on the line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Like that's what I was talking about, especially in set three. Um, some people just, they might see the combo or they just might tunnel vision in on just breaking when they get too high up on their board. You know, like 70% mm -hmm. of board capacity, you right. know, you have, you have 30, 30 blocks maybe left and you're just like, fuck, I just want to break. I want to get out of this situation. And you kind of just, you let go of of, uh, of your combos and stuff. So, yeah, I think um, it's very similar to wagers in that aspect. Like if you generally like watch people playing big wagers, you expect maybe constant Vegas's and stuff but it's not the reality of it because people like to play mm -hmm. CF. right but again this is what we talked about um of like why this in, why this tournament encapsulate ev encapsulates everything that makes 
the number one sword fighter, the number one sword fighter. Um, you have things like the the competitiveness, you know, versing against the best players on the entire ocean, at least currently. And then you have the pressure of knowing that dozens and dozens and sometimes even hundreds of people are, might be watching you and people commentating and critiquing your gameplay. So yeah, there's a lot really on the line. Too. I mean, a lot of these players, especially me, like, when I stream, when I play, and I know people are watching, I play completely different because it's like, I know a lot of people like, uh, let's say Stacker, for instance, uh, Rip Stacker, Free Stacker, please. Uh, <laughs> free Stacker. <laughs> yeah, Free Stacker. Stacker. Yeah, uh, a lot of those guys will like, you know, kind of go in depth in your gameplay and see what you did and see what you did wrong and a lot of that stuff. It's kind of just, um, I don't know, it's just a lot on the line. It's a completely different game. It's it's like being in a, like a, yeah. I say it's like being in like a 5 million post sword fight wager. When you're yeah. playing two sets, because it's kind of, it's kind of like uh, the adrenaline's going, your heart's racing, like your fingers don't work properly, <laughs> and it's hard to know exactly. what it is exactly unless you're like there in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I can definitely attest to that. Even in the group stages, uh, against like Gammy or um, Prolific, you just get into a totally different mindset. You're just mm -hmm. you're thinking about the game totally different. You, it's not like you're playing table games. So, um, yeah, anyway, congrats to you. Uh, close set. I think people were, thought that this was closer um, than they anticipated. But yeah, all really, the, hopefully all really, the sets I've played so far in the round of 60 have been super, super close. And I predict that there's going to be either a lot of upsets or a lot of sets that are just going to keep going, like come down to the very last set, sometimes even the last game. Yeah, definitely. I think so as well. Um, and not to, do, to detract from Acroscopic whatsoever, he played phenomenally um especially once you switch to Fausch, that was really good showing by him well played by you acro if you're listening right now um yeah well done well takes done. a lot to come out and get a lot of wins against uh well in this you... format on against someone like Aventus. yeah definitely um but yeah, yeah. is that it yeah, I think so. Uh, do you want to call it here, and then we can get set up for the potential prolific versus scupper boy in an hour's time. Holy shit, is that really that happening in an hour's time? I don't know if I'm going to be able to commentate that, oh, but no. I'm pretty sure that we'll have somebody else commentate it besides me. I'm sure you guys are sick of me by now. Maybe we can ping Johnny and get Johnny in. Yeah, maybe Jonathan Depp <laughs> Just call him out. <laughs> just come in here and commentate for us that would be awesome <laughs> um but yeah we'll see um we see uh we'll see what happens but um yeah oh yeah, scup sweating in twitch chat. <laughs> yeah. you, you still down scup um <clears throat> Yeah, that'll be a great game. You versus Scupper Boy. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a classic. classic. That's, that's one for the ages. Yeah, Fuck, is. I wish I was commentating it. God damn it. Any more sets today? <laughs> says more. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I was just saying. Um, I might be playing Scup here in an hour's time. Scupper Boy. Yeah, yeah we'll Scup's see. still dying. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can figure something out, but um. Palm's getting sweaty already. We'll see what happens. Yeah, like leading up to it, you can't help but think about it. You know, you're thinking about your yeah. set, you're like, oh my god, all right, like, do I have the patterns down? Like, am I warmed up enough? How am I building? How am I, you know, do I remember patterns? Like, it's just fucking everything. So, yeah, anyway, we love you, Zenavius. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you later for me versus Scupper Boy. Yeah, that's um, crazy. good job to Aventus and Acro. Yes, we'll play yeah. by Acro. We'll all right. Um, is there anyone else streaming on Twitch? I'm aware that maybe the guy I hosted yesterday wasn't not the best. Nah, there's no one streaming. Um, I'm aware that the guy I hosted yesterday maybe wasn't the best pick. Um, I hadn't watched him before. Yeah, we um, just saw I, I just wanted to, me, yeah. we, we just wanted to share the love, you know, but um, I hear <laughs> maybe it didn't go the best. <laughs> yeah. So I apologize for that, but um, what can you do? Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to get off. I'm going to get ready for playing Scup and see you later. <laughs>